Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I just wanted to do a quick video showing you my top favorite denim. I do have a lot of denim that I've been collecting over the past few years. Um, but these I narrowed it down to five and these are my top most worn pairs that I would highly recommend to anyone no matter your height or your body type. This denim complements any body type. These would be considered more higher end or designer so they are a bit pricier but I will have links from various different prices on the description for you guys. I will try to find the best um, dupe that I can in the same style or very similar. If you are enjoying my content, please don't forget to like and subscribe. That really helps a lot. Also, comment below what kind of denim you prefer and maybe what you would like to see in the future on my channel. That is always appreciated as well. So with that being said, let's begin. Let's begin with the first one. Um, This one is my newest edition, actually. I just got this one like a month ago. And I love this style of Levi's, which is the ribcage straight ankle. I love this style. I've tried other styles, like the I like the wedgie as well. I like their skinny style. But this one's my favorite because it fits me perfect on the length. I don't have to get it altered or get it like, you know, hemmed or anything. I love the wash. It goes with everything. All my jeans that I'm going to show are high-waisted. So if you don't like high-waisted, probably you're not going to like these jeans. I just feel like high-waisted really does complement my body type and most body types. I personally have, you know, some meat in that area, you know, my stomach, on my sides and stuff like that. And I feel like high-waisted kind of hides everything and it makes your waist a little smaller or appear smaller so that's why i i like it and i feel comfortable in them so this is how it looks like i also feel like you just need to have a medium blue wash denim that has no distressing no rip for those occasions that you kind of want to dress up a pair of denim this will be the perfect one because it doesn't those that distressing makes it casual so i also have it in black which i am going to show you later my favorite style highly recommend you try it if you haven't tried it so this is another pair of levi's and actually all of them are levi's except two two are a goldie those are my two favorite brands this one it's a dad jean and this one is more baggier more looser fitted than that one that one is a straight leg so it's like tighter on this area and then it just is more looser on your legs this one is more comfortable than the first one it does fit me long but I do fold it a little bit and it for me it looks it looks good. I like how it looks folded actually. It's kind of like a mom jean fit but looser. It's like basically just fitted around your waist, your stomach area and then it just gets looser and then it goes kind of a little bit in at the ankle. Just the slightest bit. It looks really good on. It looks good on your behind as well. I do not have anything on that department so it's like well, I have a little bit but it's hardly anything there. So I feel like all of these kind of help a little bit. As you can see it looks really good with a uh, black bodysuit with anything really all of these look good with anything this one which is the same as the first one is the same style which is their ribcage straight ankle straight leg basically and i love these details like this bronze details in here i feel like it complements the black really nicely like i mentioned before the length is perfect it's supposed to be on the ankle but because i'm short it fits me perfect I don't have to get it altered or anything so if you're petite highly recommend the style everyone needs a pair of black denim it looks great with brown like this looks really good together like that there's times that you don't want to wear like blue denim or you're in your days and stuff like that so you want to wear black it's just a necessity i feel like um and these are great the style is really nice looks really good on your tushy looks really great with heels with sneakers you can dress it up dress it down it looks amazing and you definitely need a black pair of denim and the style it's really nice next one it's a goldie which it is on the pricier side as we all know i hesitated so much buying my first pair i thought about it for months and when i was checking out i was sweating from everywhere they're definitely worth it in my opinion i love a goldie jean the ones that i'm going to show you they're my favorite styles i'll link everything down below and i'll put the style name as well as the size and everything 
but this one has a distressing on the knee. I really recommend you need to try either one of these pairs. I think that investing on a nice pair of denim is completely worth it if it's a style that you love and that complements you well. Before, I used to actually buy my jeans from like local places, places that were super affordable. And I bought them or my mom bought them sometimes, you know, when I was way younger, just because they fit, but not because I love them. So I wasn't really into jeans when I was younger, but it was because I didn't find the right denim that I loved, that I felt like complemented my body. I've always been very insecure with my butt and everything. So I felt like jeans really made that look really bad until i tried a pair of denim from zara and i was like oh wow you know it doesn't look that horrible compared to the ones that i have tried before so you know you just have to go to different places i'm not saying you need to buy like levi's or goldie go to different places i love zara jeans for the price the quality is amazing um it does suck that their sizing is a little bit off but you need to go to, to the store and try different styles Take your time in trying different sizes. Go up a size. I tend to go up a size on my jeans. I'm done trying to feel like a stuffed burrito in my jeans. I want to feel comfortable. And actually, I feel like it makes me look slimmer. Or I would actually make the mistake of getting my size or even smaller. Just so I can snug everything in. But actually, that made it worse. Because all my fat will go up. And when I would wear a shirt, you could see my fat and it would just make it look bad. So now that I'm wearing a bigger size or something that fits me comfortably loose but still snug, if that makes sense, it looks nice and I'm comfortable. So I recommend going up a size on your denim. Just give it a try. When you're not used to wearing something, it's going to take some time to get used to. It took me a while to kind of get used to the fact of getting a bigger size. I always saw that as a negative thing. But now, like, I love um, getting a bigger size on my denim. So yeah, take your time. That's my tip. Take your time. Go into different places. Try on the denim. Go try different sizes. Don't be ashamed. Because I used to also feel bad for their employees because I would try so many things. But you know what? That's what the, the stores are for. And once you figure out what kind of jeans fit you nice and what stores, then you're going to be more aware of what to buy if you want to buy online. Um, so yeah, that's my little tip. But I really, really love a Goldie. And I feel like it's really great investing in something that you're going to wear for a long time. Also, another tip. If you have like a nicer pair of denim that you love to maintain its state and you know how it looks try not to wash it as often obviously if it has stains or if it's dirty wash it if you have the budget I'll take it to a dry cleaners because they're gonna do a great job at washing the rips if it has rips when you wash it on the washer it just kind of damages it a little bit and it loses the shape that's another thing that i try to wash my jeans the least amount as possible and if i do i take it to the dry cleaners if it was a pair of denim that was a bit pricier than others or if i really love it so yeah that's another tip this one is the last pair of denim from my top five this is another pair of a goldie and this one has a bit more distressing than all of them. It has distressing on the knees. And I love that distressing. It looks really nice when you want to be like casual and like want that street vibe. But this is how they look from the back. Completely worth the price, in my opinion. You know, but there's always other ones that are similar, like the one from Zara. It's very similar. They make a very similar style to this one which if i find it i'll link it below but yeah this is the last one and i hope you enjoyed this video and until the next one bye